stop and get a uh, electric fence picked up so we can get through. Right up in there is where we're headed, right to the top. Hopefully the camera footage ain't too shaky. It is a beautiful Friday in Ohio. A little warm and humid today. I'm not sure exactly what the temperature is, but definitely, definitely, definitely warm. This is probably only the second or third time I've gotten to take the bike out all year. Four-wheeler. Been busy with other things. Definitely need to maintain the paths, that's for sure. Usually these are all cut and uh, very nice. And you can walk on them, ride on them. Got another fence here, you can't see it. Maybe it's down. It's actually down. Cool. Well, we don't got to worry about this one. This one is down. There's one of the uh, insulators. And it goes across and it goes to that tree. And it appears to be down. Okay. That would explain to why the cows aren't over here. Well, let's keep going. Yeah! trees down still that we have to clean up. I had some storms come through. Would have been the end of last year and uh, beginning of this year. It's definitely uh, took a toll on the paths back here. That's for sure. We'll take the long way around see what it's like up there in here. Just did hay last week, so see some hay bales, round bales. I think they got all the square bales picked up. Yeah, this this path is definitely super high compared to what it was, but there's one of the fields right there. It's nice to be able just to go out and chill outside. It's nice living on a farm. Definitely uh, definitely enjoyable. I didn't help out with hay this year. Some years I do. This year I did not. The wife and I actually sold all of our cattle. We're looking to get back into it, but we haven't done it yet. There's definitely plenty to see back here, so to keep this video short, I'm gonna take you back to uh, my favorite area where I enjoy the most. Ugh. 
bugs galore, you go through all this stuff. Uh, just in case anybody's wondering, the, the four-wheeler I'm on is a uh, Honda 2020 Rubicon 520. It's a beautiful bike. It's got all the bells and whistles, uh, power steering. It's got, uh, it's an automatic. And you can switch it. You can shift with it right there on the left handlebar if you so desire. Switches over here, the, the auto to ESP. And turn down here. Great bike. Doesn't have the power that I would want though. Um, my wife has a uh, Suzuki 720, and that thing has power. Ultimate power. That thing has. Uh, I think Can Am. Probably end up giving this to my kid, my boy, my daughter. Let them ride this one around when they get old enough. Oh, I'd like to get a Can Am 1000. I mean, it's, it's beautiful back in here. Absolutely love it. The woods is an amazing place. Very blessed to have this to be able to play on and, and run on. And my wife's father is actually the owner. And he's, a, he's a hell of a guy. Beautiful woods. The only thing we're missing is a pond. It'd be nice to have a pond do some fishing. Hopefully the next time we come out here though, we'll have uh, have these paths maintained in mode with any luck. take you down into the woods down here in the bottom and that's really the best spot my favorite spot and then maybe in another video we'll cover the rest of it there's there's a lot of land out here to run that's for certain stop every once in a while and get the darn numbness out of my fingers. My fingers go numb. <laughs> there is a remedy for that. I'll have to show that to you. I can't take credit for it, but there's a remedy if you have your fingers going numb when you're doing things. Uh, I'll have to show you in another video how you, uh, how you can take care of that. Super important that we uh, we go back to natural medicine and ways that they did things back in the old days. Because this modern stuff, I mean, it's great, but uh, unfortunately, it's fallen into the wrong hands, or maybe it's always been in the wrong hands. And there's things that they don't tell you that they know about. They can improve your health and help you. They, they spread disinformation and they, they spread lies essentially on things to scare people so that you don't do, you know, so you don't do the old natural remedies. They, they try to discourage people from doing that by spreading fear. And those natural remedies is what keeps you healthy. got a feather of some sort. Let's see here. That's pretty cool. Not sure what it belongs to. Uh, a hawk, an owl. There's a huge owl that flies back here. I've seen him before. 
and his wingspan's got to be at least at least 10 feet but uh that's pretty cool it's cool flying one thing that you'll pick up back here I'll stick that in my compartment here well that ain't gonna work hopefully it don't blow out one thing that you'll find out here that you don't want to normally find is ticks ticks are no fun I hate them they get on you it's inevitable you know they uh, they, they can carry Lyme disease and stuff like that you try to get them off of you as soon as you can but they are definitely a nuisance for sure but hey we found that feather let's go ahead and uh, take a deeper trip into the woods right all right and we are off yet once again on a grand adventure hopefully my feather doesn't fall off Absolutely stunning back here. Right up here is the mud pit. I've never mudded this bike, never will. But there's the mud pit. Other people do that we ride with. They come back and they hit that. Get their bike all dirty. Mine strictly rides trails. And the worst thing that's going to happen is... Uh, Ah, I'll hit some sticks. That's about it. That's all I do with her. She's uh, my baby here. But man, it is gorgeous back here. The owl that I seen was back here, and I kid you not, it really looked like it had probably a five foot wingspan at least. He was massive soaring up into those trees. Absolutely massive. But back to the topic that I was talking about, you know, the things that they try to spread disinformation about. It, one of them is apple seeds. Now, if you can get your apples from a, uh, a person who grows them in an orchard and they're 100% not genetically modified in any way, I don't know about the store apples. You gotta be cautious with all that stuff got a tree blocking us up there I'm gonna go down towards the bottom uh, you know you want to eat the seeds you want to eat apple seeds now I know what you're thinking Clark you're crazy apple seeds contain arsenic and arsenic's poison and that is what they want you to believe but uh, there's also something else in that seed that is called the vitamin B17, which is 100% known to help prevent, and I say prevent, and I am no doctor in any way, but it helps prevent cancer. Now, what the arsenic does, and we're research this, like I tell everybody, you know, I might get my facts wrong from time to time, so I encourage you to research this for yourself but the arsenic that you consume in small doses and you do not want to sit around and eat apple seeds like you would sunflower seeds absolutely not if you eat an apple consume the seeds eat the seeds do not just sit and eat apple seeds if you do this you risk hurting yourself killing yourself if you eat an apple, eat the seeds. It's as simple as that. Never just sit and eat apple seeds. With that being said, what happens is, is when you consume the arsenic, um, the body knows what arsenic is. And it marks it. And it knows that it's got to get it out of your system because it's poisonous. Well, for some reason, your cancer cells, they love arsenic. They love it and they consume the arsenic. Well, you know that a cancer cell will roam your body unmarked. Your body cannot detect cancer cells. It, it can't detect them. It, it doesn't know what they are. They roam freely and it can't mark them to flush them out. But for some reason, the cancer cells somehow consume the arsenic and they mark themselves with this arsenic. 
and your body will then flush them out. And what you'll notice after you've eaten some apple seeds, within the next day, you're probably going to have a massive dump. You're going to be on the toilet and you're going to have diarrhea. That's typically what will happen. Now I have had one person that I recommended that to that they claimed that they did not poop and they were still having issues with like constipation. And I told them, I said, yeah, you don't want to eat no more seeds than if you're not passing them out because you will have a buildup of, you could have a buildup of arsenic and harm yourself. So that's just a little bit of a tidbit that I wanted to throw out there since we're out here in nature. You know, uh, God intended us to eat the seeds of the fruit, I'm convinced. Apricot seeds is one, they contain that. Uh, I had a, my cousin told me one time, he said, Clark, uh, I've heard cherry pits are dead poisonous and you'll die if you eat them. And I said, well, I can tell you for a fact that I have cracked open cherry pits and I have eaten the insides of them and I am still alive I'm still here and uh, it didn't affect me at all I had again a massive dump from my body trying to get rid of that poison because it is poisonous and if you eat a bunch of it you could definitely harm yourself but uh, I'm still here and I still eat them and they're nasty they taste horrible they're very bitter things of the sort but it's important that we pass on this knowledge we pass it on so that we can help others be healthy healthier you know because cancer is the biggest money maker especially in the United States your insurances and all that stuff and quite typically anyone who talks about it gets shut down so who knows how far this video will go um, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure how the audio quality is going to turn out, being that I'm on the four-wheeler. But uh, this is information that I want to pass along. And these are things that um, I want to try to get out there. You know, because it's being suppressed. They're suppressing this information with disinformation. And they're suppressing the information that anyone has by canceling their channels and stuff like that. So, with that... Hopefully, the audio quality is really good. And I've got some more tips, you know, and, and these are known tips. A lot of this stuff you can find on TikTok. Well, a lot of people are against TikTok. And, you know, we all know why. We all know why they're against TikTok. They're against TikTok because it's not controlled by the government. The government doesn't have an, a window to it. They can't get in there and censor shit like they can on Facebook and things of the sort. That's why TikTok's under attack. Of course, you have kids that are doing crazy stuff because they're TikTok challenges, but come on. Let's get to the root cause of that. And that is lazy parenting. If parents would take the time to parent their children and tell them and inform them that hey, you know, this is dangerous. Like the uh, salt on ice challenge. I have discussed that with my son multiple times. I've told him, I said, hey, and my daughter, if you, uh, if you put salt on ice and stick it to your tongue, that thing is gonna fuse your tongue and you're gonna have to rip it off and you're going to mess your tongue up bad and you might even have to go to the hospital. I really don't know, but it causes a chemical reaction which hurts you. So, uh, you know, it's all about educating your kids, talking to them. Well, we're in the back field, back here, with all the hay. It is a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Hey, well, with that, go ahead and sign up for today but thank you for watching take care hopefully some of that information can help you out in life and hopefully uh, you know you're researching you got to research it look it up for yourself um, don't just run through the first couple pages of Google I don't even use Google I use DuckDuckGo uh, Google has been proven to censor your, your searches so with that head on over to DuckDuckGo is what I use 
that. 